Hi everyone. So in today's video, I have this Lenovo B490 laptop. Now, uh, there are two issues with it. One, the keyboard is gone. You can see that uh, some of the keys are uh, missing. So I have a replacement keyboard which I got from Amazon. And two, it won't power on. If I press the power button, you get the fan error. Now, the fan was already replaced once. So I have the replacement uh, fan with me now what i did was this was the replacement fan i only changed the impeller you can actually lift the impeller like this so so i removed the impeller and uh, placed uh, the one from the replacement unit on the stock fan now i connected this one and it was spinning and it was working but there's a problem i cannot uh, use this body inside this laptop it won't work so i'll show you how to replace this plus we also intend to change uh, the thermal paste which is applied uh, below the heat sink so we'll use this uh, corsair uh, thermal paste so well, let's start with uh, removing all the screws now you can keep a magnet uh, nearby so you know you can use this to hold all the screws you know keep these uh, screws safe and uh, don't lose them now once you have done that you can just slide this cover and this is your cpu and we'll have to remove the whole thing so let's start uh, if you have a pry tool like this it'll be like really helpful and now once you remove this cover you have uh, additional screws here you can see m 2.5 by 8 there's one here there's one here there's another one um, here so remove those hard disk as well so guys uh, once more uh, just be careful to store your screws properly so you don't lose them so you can remove this uh, unit and if you do that you will get access to another screw which is right here this is a hidden one so i'm just keeping that neodymium magnet so it's easy remove the battery also guys Okay, so once you've removed all the screws, you have to pry open this area right here. Like that. And that's how you get access to the keyboard ribbon cable right there. This one. So this uh, ribbon cable, it is held by this small tab here. You have to raise the tab like this. Now this is the close position. Just raise it and it comes off that's how you remove the keyboard so this is a stock keyboard you can see here now uh, before replacing the keyboard we have to replace this fan so for that you have the screw here but be careful you have so many other ribbon cables here so in case you want to remove it you will have to remove the cables too so you have one cable here just for the motherboard you have another one here and you have another one right here this is i believe for the power switch remove it and carefully detach it so that's how you get this uh, panel off now you have the whole motherboard here it's a miracle that uh, the board has lasted this long uh, guys uh, before you try to you know remove the fan you also have to remove a few screws one is here another one is here another one you'll have to raise this get this ribbon cable out this one and this ribbon cable comes out this is your display cable so that's how you access the underside of the motherboard so this is a heatsink fan assembly for the cpu three screws here so we'll remove them and your fan is out and so that's how uh, the fan comes out guys so you all uh, i'd suggest is to just uh, clean this and maybe put a bit of uh, lubricating oil like your uh, sewing machine oil or something so you know uh, it, it'll get uh, clean this impeller so you can see that it's very dirty 
and uh, the fan would uh, spring back to action. All right. Now let's try uh, removing this uh, heatsink assembly. So it's held by four screws here, spring loaded screws. So there you go. This is the heatsink assembly and uh, CPU here. So we'll clean this. To clean this, uh, take these uh, earbuds like this and uh, use some IPA, isopropyl alcohol. You get this in practically any pharmacy store. So that's clean, uh, just wipe it with a bit of uh, clean microfiber. Okay, so I have this Corsair TM30, very old in fact, I got this back in September 2020 guys. So it's quite old, I never used it. Uh, comes in a syringe like this. So what you would do is uh, apply a wee bit on top here. Is it just a pee? drop or a now pee. what you would do is uh, you have to clean the heat sink now this one is a mess you can see a lot of dust here you have to clean this because this is essentially blocking all the uh, holes for uh, the fan to push in air so you'll have to clean it and uh, make that uh, make all this uh, dirt go away and clean this as well propyl alcohol and clean it like that that's it guys uh, so this is clean now i have to clean the other one so I've uh, cleaned that as well and uh, we'll install it. So, uh, you know, you don't have to manually spread this uh, heat sink uh, thermal paste. Uh, you let this uh, flat copper part to spread it even. Below. Connect the fans uh, connector here. So that's done. Let's hope that uh, this helps. Now we have to reassemble everything back. So let's do that. Okay, guys, uh, next comes the big part, replacing the motherboard back and connecting all the cables. So we'll start from this corner here. Now you have this uh, cable. This I believe is for uh, the CMOS battery. So that comes uh, here. You have a small connector. Don't forget to connect that. Otherwise your time won't sync. Okay, that's done. Now you have to connect this motherboard here. Motherboard connector rather. That is done. Now raise this tab. Close it. That's done. Raise this tab. Close it. Raise this tab. Guys, this is the main display. So ensure that it is connected well. Otherwise, you're not going to get any display. This is for the left speaker. Yes, that's gone and lock it. That is done. Uh, guys, we have connected one uh, RAM module and the uh, bootable drive, which is the Samsung SSD. Now we'll start powering it up for fingers crossed. Okay. Yeah, because we disconnected the cable. And uh, no, we don't have the keyboard, so we'll connect that. At least the system is booting, so that's a good sign. The fan is spinning, you can see here. That is also a good sign. So what we'll do is we'll now uh, connect the keyboard. Okay, so I have this uh, replacement uh, keyboard, which is not an original uh, Lenovo part, but raise this uh, tab, lock it, and then you have to insert it. Now inserting is pretty simple. You have these four tabs. It has to align here inside like that. And that is it guys. So. That's as far as installation is uh, concerned. Uh, so yeah, that completes the keyboard part. Now you will have to cover all the screws which are lying loose. So we'll do that. So guys, uh, try to, you know, have a small magnet like this. So it's easy to, you know, hold the screw in place. Uh, if you don't have a magnetic uh, screwdriver, it will really help. So replace all the screws back. That's the next step.
So that last piece of uh, RAM module guys, we'll install that. That is done and uh, it's time to connect it and see if the system boots properly. So there you go guys, uh, let's see how the core temperatures are after changing the, so there you go, it's about uh, 60 degrees now. And uh, here you go, the new keyboard works beautifully. So that'll be all guys, uh, I hope this uh, video was useful, I'll see you in the next one.